5 volt, 3.3 volt. The big one here is for 5 volt. The smallest one is for 3.3 volt. Guys, the 5 volt and 3.3 volt are not normal voltages. No, this is the most important voltages in the motherboard after the B plus 90 volt. Without these two voltages, nothing will work in the motherboard. Based on 5 volt and 3.3 volt, all other voltages are generated, including the voltage for the RAM for the newest motherboard. Here, for example, in this induction, we have 1.5 volt. Why? Because the RAM here is DDR3. And in this capacitors, we have 1.5 volt VDD, and we have 0.75 volt for VTT. But what is here, the main voltage, this is basically the control IC that generate this voltage for the RAM. But what is the working voltage for this IC? If we check, we're gonna find 5 volt or 3.3 volt. So let's check the ceramic capacitors around it. This one, for example, we have 5 volt. Okay, guys, if we check this one also, we have 5 volt VCC. So here, guys, the 5 volt here is the input or the working voltage for this IC in order to get 1.5 volt. Without this voltage, the RAM will not be feeded. I can even use the continuity option and check between this coil and this capacitor and we're gonna find a direct connection. Let's do it, guys. So let's put the multimeter to the continuity option, as you can see, and then let's put one probe here in this inductor, of course. Sorry, let me rem remove the adapter, guys. Here we have the adapter. Okay, remove it. Let's work safely. So one probe in the inductor. Here this is the inductor, the five volt inductor, okay? And like this, let's check this capacitor. Do you see, guys? Okay, we have, as you can see, zero in the multimeter. Direct connection, as you can see, guys. Okay, direct connection. Okay, guys, this is it. So, without 5 volts, the RAM the voltage for the RAM will not be generated. Let's go deeper. So let's go back to the voltage option in the multimeter 20 volts. Okay. And I'll put the black prop in the ground, everywhere in the ground. And let's check another circuit here. For example, for this circuit, we have 1.8 volt. This IC generate 1.8 volt. But if we look around this IC, we have 3.3 volt. Okay, we have 3.3 volt. So without this 3.3 volt here in this inductor or in this channel, this IC will not be feeded or will not be working, then we will not get 1.8 volt. That's why, guys, I told you that the 3.3 volt and 5 volt are the most important voltages in every motherboard after the B+. I can even do the same thing and check between this point here, 3.3 volts, and this capacitor here, we have to find a direct connection. Let's do it again. Again, guys, pay attention. Always remove the adapter if you want to use a continuity option. Okay? So, we have the inductor here. We have the serum capacitor here. Okay, guys, let's zoom out a little bit. Good. Okay, let's put the multimeter again to the continuity option over here. Okay, guys. So let's check. Good. Continuity option seated correctly. So, guys, if I put one probe in this inductor, in 3.3 volt inductor, let's put it here, for example. Because the same, the same thing, okay? So one probe in 3.3 volt inductor. And let's go directly to this capacitor. Do you see this capacitor, guys? Over here. Here. 
Do you see guys? Zero in the multimeter, direct connection. I will zoom out a little bit. Direct connection guys, you see direct connection. So without the 3.3 volt, this IC will not be fitted, will not be working. Thus, we will not, we will not get 1.8 volt here for the RAM and also for the PCH. Guys, I hope that you understand. Please, if you find this course very important and very informative, please don't hesitate to like the video, share, subscribe and smash that bell icon for upcoming videos like this one. And guys, for anyone who wants me as a mentor, you can just join me in my Patreon page and select, of course, the mentorship membership and you are very welcome. I can help you one-on-one -on -one with your board failure until you fix it. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.